Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk, guys. I've got my coffee. I've got a replay from Bean. He says his bad was his bad was team. He's <laughs> I've had a lot of coffee this morning, guys. He said his team was bad, and he's in a bat chat. But his bat chat was good. Well, let's see. Good, bad, good. Good is bat chat, I guess, sorta, and it's Bean, so that's good. Bad, it's a city map for a bat chat. Yikes. Good, he's top tier, tier ten. It's not an all tier 10. In fact, there's tier 8s to bully and beat up with the bat chat. Bad, there's uh, all team chat. Let's see how all this goes down. This is a first look. We have six seconds and Bean is deciding what to do. Like I said, this is a first look, so I haven't seen this, but I know the result. I know the result. I'm not going to give it away, though. It is a close game. Here comes Bean coming out of the shoot, shooting <laughs> the Bean. Oh man, I was about to say the beans coming out of the hole, but let's just let's just not go there, folks. We're gonna have our coffee. We're gonna enjoy this battle with Bean in the bat chat. 25T. <clears throat> the venerable 25T, the French auto-loading beast, used to be one of the best. Absolutely one of the best mediums in the game. Still a good medium, but you've got to be careful with this thing. It's soft, a little bit soft in the middle. It uh, is a bit derpy on the gun, not amazing accuracy. How does he get away with going right here? That's amazing. Good camo, that is one thing it has. And then the enemy team, for whatever reason, is putting everybody, what are they doing? <laughs> well, if you're gonna run a bat chat, that is the kind of thing you absolutely love to see. A relatively soft tank out in the open, unable to get away, and then you'll see that Bean presses C and gets his reload going. Long reload in the bat shot, folks. Well, bad news. Not a lot of guys in the upper town right here. Quite a few snipe a -a ding dangs back there. We got the RHM, the Sturb, and some other TD that I can't tell. What is that thing? The other TD must be the 124, potentially. Uh, where's the 110? No, it's not the 124. It's somebody else. Scorpion? Is there a scorpion in the house? Yes. It appears to be a scorpion. Bean has this joker up here. What do we got? We got a standard B. Oh, this could be the duel of the autoloader fairies. Are we going to take these shots? There we go. There we go. Does he want some? Oh, he's not spotted. He is spotted. All right. Oh, this guy's in big trouble. This guy's in big trouble. Down he goes, and he presses C. See that? No hesitation, guys. Takes those three shots and go to C. I've talked about this a bit in videos lately, that the timing with which you do things is very important. The quickness with which he decided to reload is going to get his clip back to him faster and every second counts in this game it is a game of seconds it really is a game of seconds a lot of times uh oh the scorpion she just <laughs> well go back to go back to garage scorpion g sorry about that You're, you've been already one thing that is not happening and I'm, a, I'm sure this is not lost on bean in any way is they are not pushing they being the enemy are not pushing here in the upper hill or the upper town which is a good thing oh geez this poor tiger too he has no idea what's happening. It's getting wrecked. We're we gonna take that shot. Oh jeez. Yep. Oh my gosh. We're we gonna farm him. Yes, we have farmed him, and we have gone to reload, just like that, just like that. So we're gonna reload this bad boy. He repositions. He meta flexes. <laughs> Finally, the auto loader moves up. I don't know why. Why are you coming up here to get proxy? Look. Okay, good. That was gonna concern me a little bit. Wondering why you would let him know where you are while well, you're not reloaded. Uh-oh. The enemy team has sort of figured out there's not much going on up here. And here they come. Oh, don't let the T-54E1 see you yet. Well, I don't know what this low is doing. It has decided to just get shot by that guy. Are we going to come around behind? Well, we're going to be tempting fate, but it looks like he wants to get rid of this guy. Auto-load. Or auto-aim, sorry. It is auto-load as well. Oh, look out. Jeez, there's a... St oh, boy. This guy wants to, oh my gosh, he's going to try to, well, he tried to square up. We've only got one shell. Can we kill him? Oh, we did. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. And we are at 4,847. But the town appears to be in a bit of trouble. The Scorpion G YOLO's in. There, he's not long for the world, is he? The low tries to get in there, but he eats two shots. Yeah, there's a Progetto and a Sturve. So really... Bean is only going to be able to deal with one of these guys. I think he's proxy late here. I don't know if I'd sit here, really, Bean. Not with Artie. They might splash you. Are we about to get Artie? The low helps you out, does you a solid <clears throat> by taking some hit points off the stir. 
Come around here, we avoid the auto loader. Looks like we're gonna get this guy down, nicely done with one shot. Now we're going to gang tackle the Progetto. Very good. This guy has no idea what's, oh, don't ram him. Is Artie gonna hit us? Oh, he's in big trouble. Oh, our own Artie hit us, yes. The answer to that is yes. <laughs> All right, I want you to notice something else that just happened there, folks. He only had two shells of APCR. He wanted to reload his clip. He went over to his heat. That is a mistake that I do sometimes and you've got to watch for is spending an eternity, whatever it is for this thing, 40 seconds or so, reloading only two shells. That's bad. So pay attention to how many shells you have. You know you're going to have an issue with that. I'm just going to pause it again. You know you're going to have an issue with that at times if you're pressing C a lot and you get off track because when you load your tank, you're going to have enough shells for each clip, whatever it is. that you know it's, They're sold by numbers of what goes in your clip. But if you get these off clip reloads, I guess is what I'm going to call it, there, that's going to let you know that towards the end, you may have a, an odd number or, or different number, odd being weird, I guess, uh, than you want. All right, so maybe I thought this was closer than it was. I, maybe I lied. I don't know. Is there a big comeback here? There's a 60 TP. That is a tier 10 heavy that we've got to deal with. And we've got an E50 that's hurt. Scorpion G is really hurt. He's so hurt he went back to garage. And then this guy is really bummed out because all of a sudden there's a bat chat with a full clip behind him. And he has not a lot of great options. <laughs> okay. This is not even... I thought this was much closer. It is not. It's not. I lied. I completely lied. But that's what you get, guys. That's what you get. What is he going to reload or is he just going to save that shell? Looks like he... I don't know. He's, he is just going to save the shell. Not a bad idea. Can he actually find the artillery first? I think probably the Progetto and the RHM are going to find him first. But the Bat Chat is fast. Interesting decision. I think I agree with it. Now the E50's got that guy. There's no way he's going <laughs> to... Okay, big finish. That was like fireworks. <laughs> Afternoon delight. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't even close. 7,449, seven kills. I don't, your team seemed fine. No, they weren't, I mean, they weren't amazing. Of course, you did 7,000 of the damage, so maybe they were pretty bad. <laughs> a lot of great auto loading uh, masters kind of level stuff right there. I think this will be a masters class. This is going to be, see, I'm just deciding as we go. This is going to be a first look masters class. For the autoloader with Bean and his Bat Chat, the venerable Bat Chat 25T, making it look easy in a tank that is not easy to use. Granted, maybe he was talking about the enemy team was bad. Granted, it was very permissive. He was able to do a lot of things. I'm very surprised he already never shot at you, but the the key to him not being shot while he was out in the field area is he rarely got seen. It wasn't until he decided to go after the T5041, I believe, that he was even spotted. Actually, that's not true. The standard B saw him earlier, but that guy died quickly. All right, guys. I appreciate that, Bean. That's a great game. Lots of good learning right there. Thanks for tuning in, everybody else. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, throw me a, a follow if you like or learn something from this. If they're looking for other ways, down in the description. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you.